Uh, I get to control my own own timer, which is good because I forget to count off people all the time. So three, two, one, and go. So uh, this game, unlike Armored Core 1, uh, dumps you straight into a menu. So we're going to take advantage of that by doing some shopping. Specifically, we're going to be uh, slowly transferring over to a build that will let us go out of bounds. So we're going to, we're going to, but we don't have all the money we need to do that just yet. So we're going to do that you know, kind of one step at a time. We do need a specific set of arms to go out of bounds. Uh, of course, we want a good generator because we need to boost. Uh, boosting makes me feel good. Uh, and then we also need uh, an arm. We're going to use an energy weapon. An energy weapon is good because it does not use up ammo. Uh, it doesn't use up money to fire the gun. So that's important. So there we go. This is our build for the first mission. Sometimes you got to shop. Uh, first mission is going to be bricks. This is a special mission in Armored Core because we're going to have a bonus objective. The bonus objective is to destroy crates to get money. Uh, and as it happens, this is the beginning of the game. We need money. Uh, so we're going to take advantage of that in order to destroy extra crates uh, in order to get money so that we can complete the necessary out-of-bounds build that we want. System engaged. So enjoy some 3 FPS here while I go ahead and take care of a lot of these crates. I'm really hoping to not lock on to people. Cause this, so if you haven't played an Armored Core game, uh, I, I, if you have an enemy within the range of the reticule, you fire at that enemy. So like right now I'm locked onto a guy who's inside a tunnel. That is not useful because I need to have my weapon pointed down so I can destroy crates. This of course is a, a 1997 PlayStation 1 game. Uh, and then yeah, those control interestingly. Oh good, the guy left the tunnel. The only required objective for this mission is to destroy these four enemies. All the crate stuff is bonus, but as I said, we need that money because we need to get some legs. And since this is a marathon, I'm going to be taking a little extra time just to make sure I get the money that I need. There are three tanks in that one mech in this level. So if you are if you don't need the money, you can do this like super quick, but... but I'm taking extra precautions because we do not want to screw around in, in a marathon setting. Uh, if you're not familiar with Armored Core, firing bullets and taking damage causes you to lose time. Uh, I mean, lose money because you have to pay for it. Like, look here, AC repaired, 2,400 bucks. Good news though, I had enough money. Uh, you need 93,090 for the route that I'm using. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy the thing that I was going to do. I'm going to sell my legs. And uh, I'm going to buy a, a pair of legs that's new to this game, not in the first Armored Core, which is these buggers right here. Uh, and so the secret sauce, I'm about to show off an out-of-bounds trick. And the secret sauce to doing that is that I need big shoulders, the default core, and fast legs. Uh, you can do this in the first Armored Core with the LN501 legs. Uh, the 501 legs have a really low weight capacity, though. So it is better to use these legs, which are new to Project Phantasma. We have arrived at the mission location. We will drop off the ACs and then leave the air. Now, in this level, we can go straight to the end zone, System but we have engaged. to complete the first objective in order to be able to complete the final objective, which is destroying these four boxes over here. Uh, if you're not familiar, again, this is the old PS1 controls. So right now, it is up and down in the D-pad to move forward and backwards, left and right to turn left and right, L1, R1 to strafe, and then L2 to look down and R2 to look up. Very, very intuitive, okay? I don't know what anyone's talking about. These are normal controls. You can also press L2 and R2 at the same time to center your view vertically. Uh, out of bounds time. So. Uh, I, I have a setup here that I'm going to go to a particular location on the map and then face a particular direction. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little dance. And we're going to do the time warp again. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's going on here is that I'm, I'm starting a strafe. And while starting a strafe, I'm hitting down on the D-pad. Uh, and doing that causes me to enter into a glitched walking animation. And the glitched walking animation causes me to drop next to the thing that I need to destroy. 
like that. Uh, so pretty handy. Pretty handy. You just set it up. You go. And uh, easy peasy. That's all you got to do. So we need to do a little more shopping. Our build isn't complete just yet. We need to lose our head. You may have heard of Marble Madness. This is just like that. Also going to sell our fire control system by a different head because we need radar. And then also buy a slightly better fire control system. The parts auto equip. So if you have a, a part that's a necessary part and you only have one of them and it isn't equipped, going into the garage automatically equips them. So oftentimes I just get to go into the garage and the garage automatically equips whatever I bought. Uh, this mission is more of a combat mission, though, so pretty pretty chill. We're going to need to destroy the, the front car and the rear car and then fight a bunch of enemies. System Unfortunately, engaged. we can't lock on to those cars, so we have to hope that we don't get interrupted here. What? What? Excuse me? Okay. So there's a risk here I could run out of ammo, so I, I must have wasted some ammo there, which is a little concerning. I'm going to try and be real careful about this. Sir, 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 this is a Wendy's. Come on. All right, I'm going to fight some of these enemies first. Normally, this would not be the way I would do things. I would destroy both of these cars. Uh, there we go. Please hit. <laughs> there we go. All right. As I said, this is an ammo where you. Can, this is a mission where you can run out of ammo, and if you run out of ammo, you're pretty much just cooked. Uh, this is gonna be real close. Shots left. We're fine. Don't worry about it. I was I wasn't at risk of <laughs> of, of failing the run. Don't worry about it. Useless. We're good. I mean, I do I do, you can retry the mission. So one thing that's good about this game is that if you fail a mission, you can just menu and quit out. Oh yeah, that's Stinger. Say hi to Stinger. I don't like annoyances. Stinger doesn't like annoyances. All right, good news. All right, well, anyway, that was that was some honest gameplay. Time for some dishonest gameplay again. Our build is pretty much complete at this point, so we're not going to be taking too many more trips to the garage. Now we got to go rescue Sumika. System engaged. So when I'm setting these up, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the compass and facing a certain direction and then going out of bounds a certain direction. Here I need to do a little bit of a boost. Once I get out of the glitched walking animation, I'm going to boost to my left. Please and it puts me into a cutscene. And the cutscene, you know, like cutscenes do, it puts you where you need to be. Alright, well, this is our new friend. She's going to be our, our boss for the rest of the game. We have confirmed that the power system is back online. All systems have been reset. I should note that I'm playing this on the uh, North American version of the game. 
the Japanese version is slightly faster because the text scrolls slightly faster when you're starting missions. Uh, the other difference is that there is an official version of this game on PSTV. Whereas, officially, this game was not put on... Like, only Armored Core 1 is on North American PSTV. Or, like, you know, the PSN, I should say. But I wanted y'all to have some nice dub language. The difference isn't too big between the two, so... I don't think that's Cortana. Because what? Cortana is what? Jennifer Hale, right? Or... There it is. No, not Jen Hale. Uh, Taylor? I should know this. Anyway, this is a long, unskippable uh, cutscene, so if you have any questions for me, uh, now's a great time. <laughs> anyway, Chaz, curious about anything. We got a good, we got a good uh, 30 seconds of Sumika talking at us here. I am a raven in Amber Crown. I was captured during my mission. I've heard they're developing an advanced weapon system, but not what type. We do know they're called the Doomsday Organization. In the Japanese version of this game, project the Doomsday Organization is called the Wednesday Organization, which is just like mm, supreme. Of course, I love it. They have no idea what the end result will be. I really wish they were still called the Wednesday Organization in this subject. localization. We cannot leave things it makes me know. wonder if Wednesdays are like superstitious them, in Japanese or something. Really I, I have no idea. I want you to assist me. I need a strong partner, so you're it. This will be your next mission. Oh, is this Ava from CNC? Damn, that's a good pool. I was trying to actually... I was looking online, like IMDb and behind the voice actors, to see if I could locate the English cast. And the only credit I could find was... Um, for some reason, IMDb has the Stinger credit on it. So... Oh, the fourth day. Yeah, number four. That's a good point, Ice Burner. You got it. That's probably it. Because four is, yeah, four is superstitious. Good good pick. All right, time for time for the most extreme out-of-bounds clip in the game. They, they said, hey, would you like to do a Kingsfield maze? And I said, no, not really. <laughs> Please, no. The research materials should be hidden in the deepest section of the maze. Destroy all materials upon discovery. So instead of doing a Kingsfield maze, we're going to try and clip to the end of the level. System but the end of the level is really far away. So we're going to, we're going to need to be very precise about this. All right, so not only can you go out of bounds, you know, and, and fall back in bounds, but the coordinate system wraps on itself. So I'm gonna fall through the bottom and come out the top again. And so, but I'm still falling to the left. And if I have set this up properly, I will fall into the mission at the end. I mean, the level, uh, the room at the end of the level. There we go, <laughs> easy peasy. confirmed that everything has been destroyed. I should mention, uh, I should give credit where it's due. Uh, I, I did Time none of the routing for this game. The uh, the geniuses who came up with this, uh, it was actually Peaches. If you know, if you remember Peaches, uh, who's who's done like Blast Core and other games, uh, Peaches found a lot of these out of bounds clips back in like 2012. Um, and then uh, a Japanese runner named Needle uh, sort of refined the route from there. And that's the route that I'm doing. But we need we need some weapons. We need some bigger firepower for what we're dealing with here. So we're gonna go pick up some stuff. We're gonna do some real honest. Uh, out of bounds is over for a few missions, and now it is time to turn our arms into machine guns. And to disrupt some shipping lanes. So yeah, the next set of levels is pretty much System just going to be engaged. using this weapon, like the, the machine gun arms, which are the fastest DPS weapon the in the game. The transport vehicles. Uh, 
So we need to destroy two convoys of trucks, uh, but the trucks are kind of slow, so we gotta wait for them to enter the uh, the level. Okay, that man tried to punch me out of bounds. All right. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. I would like to stay in bounds. I need to finish the level. The good news is that the other convoy has come in bounds by now. Cool. Yeah. Destroyed. Well done. Nice. Targets destroyed. I forget if they have nuclear weapons in the Armored Core Target 1 achieved. trilogy setting. That might have been what caused the Great Destruction. So this game is, yeah, it is post-apocalyptic, but I think they, they have lost a lot of technology, so. I know Armored Core, the first three Armored Core games and Armored Core 2 and Another Age are, I think, in the same continuity, and then Armored Core 3 resets it. Yeah, it's like Turn a Gundam. Steve from Bump. here, we will divide into two groups and attack the laboratory from both sides. Please don't forget about the anti aircraft radar in the area. In other words, avoid using your boosters. So, here we're going to ambush a VIP so we can kidnap him. I will him. contact you soon. Commence action. This is a neat level because we're going to see something you don't see very often in the System Armored Core series, engaged. which is a human being. <laughs> Stand by until the helicopter arrives. There's a helicopter trying to shoot at me. Well, uh, we don't see nine ball in this game. Sorry. That's one, one or Master of Arena are the ones you want there. They've arrived. I'll send over some images. Yeah, no nine ball here. Yeah, look at that little human man. That man is the target. After that man. You see the structure, do it. Destroy all enemies around the warehouse. is under control. We will now capture the target. All right, cool. We got him. Easy peasy. Surrender. Sumika's mech just we'll makes me think of RC building. from Transformers. I don't know if anyone else has that issue. That's all I can see. Yeah, put your hands target up. Target achieved. All right, so that mission was a little slow, a little boring, but it was the jungle, so you don't want to exert yourself too much in the jungle. Next mission's going to be much more exciting. Here we need to fend off a few waves of enemies, and we're going to try and destroy them as they spawn. It should be safe to stay here a while. It'll be safe, totally safe. Sumika says she's a raven, so it should be, I assume she would pilot an AC if she's a raven, but. System engaged. I messed that up. Mm. 
So normally another one of the other pink ones would be below me at this point, but it wasn't in the position I wanted it to be. It was too close to Sumika. Because I wanted it to be in the air, so then I could go straight here. And then another one will spawn in here. Oh, it, how did it jump down there? It did. Right. Well, not a quite as plain, but we'll did it. I don't appreciate nuisances. Why don't you just get So Stinger is here to get hosed down. I cannot do that. How brave. God, I really do love this guy's performance though. Stinger Stinger is a good one. Just takes a whole bunch of bullets to the face. Oh, well. And he says, you know what? You down for fun later. I don't I didn't like this anyway. Target and so he pieces achieved. out. Alright, we got one more combat level before we get back to the out of bounds stuff. This is a fun one because if this mission gets too out of control, sometimes the game will give us memory warnings on screen. <laughs> if, it, if we have too many enemies on screen at once. The way I'm doing it, that shouldn't happen, but they have gathered, it's Kessler. very funny. They have not taken notice of us yet. We will begin the infiltration. So here there is four sets of enemies. Once we destroy that, enemies will drop from the ceiling. Alright, and then more enemies will drop from the ceiling. Uh, do I have to run Armored Core games? So I only started running Armored Core games uh, last year, early last year. Uh, I, and I have only run the PS1 games. I, I've looked a little bit in Armored Core 2. I haven't done it yet. When I was a kid, I played uh, I played up through 3 as they came out and then kind of fell off the series. I get him? Is that... Yeah, good. All right, we got them all. Uh, yeah, I did Shogo. Um, I did. I did run Shogo. I do. I like mech stuff. I'm big into mech stuff. It's one of my interests. So, I did run Shogo for a little bit, which is good. Yeah, PS1 trilogy is probably my favorite. Although, of course, I've now spent more time playing them just on account of speed running them. All right, so we need to go back to our out of bounds build, which means we're going to put that other set of arms back on. Put our plasma pistol back on. And there we go. Back to the... So if you were playing the Japanese version, this would say Wednesday Organization HQ. Just mm, delicious. Your goal is to infiltrate the computer room in the lower section. Destroy all obstacles in your way. System engaged. All right, so this should put us straight into the cutscene for the next part of the level. The computer room is here. In the <laughs> Phantasma has some very fun stuff. The, the large missile, the laser fingers.
So there is a finite number of enemies that can spawn. They can spawn from one of two locations. So we're going to camp one of the locations and just wait for them to come out. And there we go. Easy peasy. So if I had destroyed the other one that was sitting around, I would have gotten additional spawns from the other spawn point. But you can just pretty much force them all to spawn from a single location and camp that spawn. We will obtain supplies here. Be careful until the process is complete. Trust the process. Speaking of the process, we're going out of bounds again. So here we're going to use our mini map as a, as a visual aid to determine where we want to fall through the map. Oh, all right. So normally you would have some enemy icons. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we're going to fall through here. This will activate a cutscene that will place me inside the level. They are abandoning the base. I think they're going to destroy all the evidence, including us. Yeah, the Armored Core soundtracks, especially the PS1 games, are incredible. We have located enemy paratroopers. We must eliminate them in order to escape. All right, well, that guy blew himself up. Good job. Good job. All right. <laughs> so two of the three enemies there just destroyed themselves on fuel containers, which was really funny. Everything will be destroyed, but it might be better this way. Oh, you couldn't get the 20th anniversary box? Yeah, one of my one of my uh, uh, online Armored Core friends was recently able to acquire that for not cheap, but still got it, which was pretty cool. I'm not much of a collector, so I didn't. I was. I wasn't interested, but still pretty cool. Yo, did you know that this is where the original Skyrim comes from? Please, uh, if you have your brightness too high on your screen, turn it down now. We're, we're going to Nord Islands. We have arrived at the mission location. We will drop off the ACs and then leave the area. So this is a snow level. Engaged. I'm sure you can see where all the hills are. <laughs> Is this Hoth? Basically. So we destroyed that first set of enemies, and there's an additional six enemies that we'll have to kill. Yeah, there's, we're surrounded. We're just walking through hills constantly, but you can't tell because the level's too white. Big hill here. And then we got one more enemy before a stinger will spawn in the new uh, mobile armor. Or I'm calling it a mobile armor. That's probably not the technical name. Enemy approaching. Enemy approaching. Danger. Who could it be? Danger. Da Danger. Danger. When will you cease to be an annoyance? I will say it's slightly more visible playing on PS2 than on PSTV. PSTV makes it even harder to see. Got him. All right. I yeah, I guess at massive MT would be the best way. I killed him. I killed him. I don't know who he's talking about. <laughs> Target achieved. Stinger doesn't really have any of his problems solved. We end up skipping a bunch of cutscenes involving him, so.
In fact, we're supposed to fight him two levels from now. We just managed to skip the fight out, right? Which is very good. All right, time for the most like the most elaborate, but also very easy out of bounds setup. So this next level is going to have a portion of the level System that engaged. it has an exterior. So outdoor levels have these bounds, right? Where they don't want you to go walk, just travel into the distance. Indoor levels do not have those. This level is half indoors, half outdoors. So we need to drop into an indoor. So we're in the outdoor part of the level right now, and we need to fall backwards into something below us. Like this. Hello. I have found the midpoint of the level. It is here. Uh, there's also a cutscene trigger here. And you might say, wait a second, PMC, couldn't you just go out of bounds again and avoid this avoid this cutscene trigger? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. Because if we go out of bounds here, we are so close to the bottom of the coordinate system that we would immediately wrap through and then fail the mission because we are beyond the mission limits in the outdoor portion of the level. However, good news. We can w walk about, you know, 100 feet and go to the indoor portion of the level, which is over here, where we can wrap through the coordinate system. So we're gonna wrap through the coordinate system, turn and face the east, think about this for a second, and then fall to our right, and it allows us to cut through the wall that gets us back to the outdoor part of the level, and we escaped. <laughs> Amazing. How did that work? I don't know. But it's good. It's fun. I like it. All right, we got two more levels here. Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. Sumika is always on about something. Okay, so in this level, there is a uh, a act a cutscene that we can activate after the level's boss fight. <laughs> so. Split into two uh, we're going to try and get into that cutscene zone as soon as we can. Some of the uh, the voice lines are being cut short, and I think that's a symptom of System fast disk speed. Although I haven't actually played this game without fast disk speed on on the American version, so I could be making that up. Yep. <laughs> this place. Be careful. Strike a pose, fall into the cutscene trigger. We were too late. I cannot believe they got here before us. Singer's already dead. How did that happen? I don't know. Go find him. We must destroy him at all costs. Easy peasy. All right, we are coming up on the final boss. Final boss fight in this game is very, very cool. Very visually impressive. We're going to go destroy Phantasma in the abyss. So Phantasma has a laser attack, and he is invincible during that laser attack. So we are going Welcome to peace to out as abyss. soon as this fight starts. This is where I merged and became one with Phantasma. No one can stop me now. Don't stop Die. me now. Anyway, yeah, he's got a laser disco attack. And he's invincible while he's doing it, so we're just gonna peace out. Uh, so he has high energy resistance, so we're gonna hit him with rockets. Uh, and he is invincible during the laser, so we just stop firing during the lasers. All right, there you go. Easy peasy. So time ends uh, traditionally in Armored Core games, at least the Armored Core PS1 games. Time ends when the save prompt appears. So we will uh, enjoy a short cutscene, and then I will hit time on this run. Uh, but yeah, that was Armored Core Project Phantasma. Uh, I think this is probably one of the cooler Armored Core speedruns.
I'm a big fan of the out of bounds clips. The, the as I said before, you can do the same out of bounds clipping in Armored Core One, uh, but the Armored Core One any percent route is like super short for very silly reasons. Uh, here, Sumika is going to tell and us we that we were we great, except that we charged too much. Maybe we could have adapted the technology, but I guess it's better this way. Yeah, this is really awkward. And she's like, hey, um, could you charge less next time? Peace. Bye. I'm gonna get in my fly ride. I would like to ask for your help again later. You are quite a strong ally to have. Just give me a discount next time, huh? No. I'm gonna charge double next time. Please. Please. Alright, but yeah. Uh, if you're interested at all in Armored Core running, there is an Armored Core series speedrun Discord. Uh, we have both English and Japanese speakers. So, very cool group. And that is it. There you go. 3551. Not pretty good. Pretty pretty darn good for the North American version of the game, which again is like 30 seconds slower than Japanese version. So, uh, but that will be it for me. Uh, I'll be back again on Thursday for Retrothon. Uh, this whole week is going to own. So please uh, keep watching the runs. Keep uh, you know enjoying all the different blocks. I and mean, we have so many. We have blocks within blocks. I heard you like blocks. We have a mecha block in the PS1 block. Uh, but that's going to be it for me uh, for now. So stay tuned for uh, more Mecha action, more PS1 action, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Peace.